Should you do a boot camp in 2021 or any future year, really? Well, the short answer is yes. Let's get in to the long answer. Before we get into why you should do a boot camp, let's talk about a couple of points that are the reason why this kind of video exists. Well, the first reason is people look at other people, other influencers out there, and all of them are self-taught software engineers, right? And they market themselves really well, and there are some really successful self-taught developers out there, right? So you might be thinking, hey, do I really need to pay all that money to go and attend a boot camp when I can do it all by myself? Well, yes, you can be a self-taught developer, but let me tell you, 99% of the people will not just be able to sit in front of a computer and read some instructions that are available freely and make it as a developer. It isn't quite as black and white as invest the time and do some coding or learn some coding and the end results will present themselves. So that's the first one. The second thing is jobs. There's this misconception or a rumor mill starting out saying that there aren't enough jobs for people who are graduating boot camps. Now you have to take a step back and think about the way I think about things uh, and that's all about peaks and troughs really. You know, during the pandemic it was really difficult for most people to get jobs, not just in our industry but in almost all other industries, right? There was a tight closed gap around how many jobs were actually available. Now that we're coming out of that, I think the market is getting flooded and it's getting back to the level that it was prior to the pandemic. So in terms of job availability, there are jobs available for pretty much any level of developer. And again, that varies depending on where you are and where you're situated. But at least for me, I can safely say in, in, in the place that I am, that there are lots and lots of opportunities available for everyone. So if that's one of the worries and that's might be making you think, hmm, maybe I don't want to invest that money because I might not have a job. Well, that shouldn't be the reason. So I just wanted to talk about those two points because I think they're quite valid and quite important. But now if we look at boot camps themselves, what do they give you? Why would you pay money and attend a boot camp? Like what is the benefit of doing that over being a self-taught developer, for example, right? So well, the first thing it gives you is it gives you something to put on your CV. Now, if you go back to all those videos where I said software engineering degrees don't matter, well, you, you know, they kind of do because if you have a computer science degree, you're likely to be on top of a CV pile. And in a similar cascading effect, if you have, a, if you are graduated from a boot camp, then you're likely to be ahead of someone who's just a self-taught developer. You know, it's all about credibility and boot camps are gaining that credibility real fast. If a recruiter is looking at someone who doesn't have, who's self-taught versus someone who's graduated from makers in London or founders and coders in London, or if you move over the other side, GA, uh, Flatiron, all of those really distinguishable names who've been around in the industry and you know have got lots of alumni who are in lots of different workplaces from Facebook to Google to Twitter etc cetera, etc cetera, that gives these boot camps a credibility so when a recruiter looks at it it's like ah oh, okay well they must be good because just like they look at people who've graduated with a computer science degree from a particular university they're like ah oh, this person must be good the bias is there, unfortunately. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is around the people that will be hiring you, right? If you're going into these companies and you have to remember, so many people have graduated from boot camps. These people have likely come across someone else in their past where they've met someone who's a, a recent graduate or a, a former graduate of a boot camp, right? I've already mentioned there are thousands of people working from big companies to small co uh, companies across the world. So it is very likely that someone has had a positive experience, which they're likely to give you the benefit of the doubt, saying, ah, this person did this particular boot camp? Well, I know the, I know X, Y, and Z who 
I, I would replace them with white names. But, you know, I've worked with X, Y and Z and they were really good. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to give this person the benefit of the doubt because they did the same boot camp. So that's another thing that's going to work in your favor. And that's why that's the first point. You're going to be able to put that boot camp's name on your CV. Now, if you think the first item was a little bit debatable, the second one is just a non-starter in terms of a debate. And that is social interaction. How many social interactions do you reckon you'll have if you're working on learning to code, become a developer yourself? Zero? Maybe a few more if you've found working groups on the internet and are working together. But still, you know, you're not going to be hitting the numbers that you're likely to hit if you go to a boot camp. They're very specifically made for the kind of environments are made for social interactions, whether they are in person or over the internet. Believe it or not, not 100% of a developer's job is coding. There are a lot of soft skills on the plate. And this is something that you can actually build up whilst you attend the boot camp. You have to explain problems to other people. You have to explain situations to people who might be less experienced than you, more experienced than you. How do you explain callbacks? How do you explain promises, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All of those things mean you build up your vocabulary and your sense of what exactly it is to be a developer. It isn't just coding all day. And all of those things happen over time. And one of the best places to do it is in an environment such as a boot camp, where all of you are trying to do the same thing, yet not every single one of you is going to be at the same level. So there has to be conversations that have to be had between the, your peers. And that is a great way to try and improve your social skills, especially around the nuances of coding. Now, the third thing that has, I think, gotten a little bit more traction lately is that boot camps make you interview ready. Being able to code and being able to interview well are two different things. And this is something that a lot of boot camps are figuring out as they go along. And they are spending a lot of time, especially towards the end of the curriculum, trying to make you ready to be able to answer all of those impossible algorithm questions which you, nobody uses in their first five years of their jobs. Yeah. So that's the big part of it. Now, sure, you could tell me, hey, I've got all of these uh, web platforms online that help me solve these algorithm questions and make me a better uh, code cracker, whatever it is um, you want to call yourself. Now, sure, that is possible. You can pay these platforms and learn lots from it. But the one thing that is quite difficult that might not come across over the internet is the circumstances and the areas you live in. If you're in London, you might be asked to do different things versus if you're in America or in India. And, and the type of levels of interviews that you might face are very different. You might have three separate interviews. You might have two. You might have a technical. You might have a, a whiteboard interview, etc., etc., etc. And they depend from job to job, from city to city. And that is something that a boot camp can help you with because they already have all of the data, they already know how many people have got jobs, hopefully a lot if you're applying to the right ones, uh, and they can tell you exactly how you go about becoming interview ready. Now the final point, and the most important point for me, is that you'll be surrounding yourself with like-minded people. And that really goes a long way. You know, you're going to be surrounding yourself with people who have paid a lot of money to do something, to achieve something. And when you put a group of like-minded people who are driven to achieve something, in which, in this case, getting a job or changing careers, the outcomes are always beneficial to every single one who's part of that group. And a lot of people don't take this as one of the key factors or benefactors of doing a boot camp, but when you are surrounded by 16 other people, 15 other people, whatever the number is, they're all driven, they all want to get through, that makes a huge difference. And it will improve your chances to become a software engineer. And that's it. Those are the four points which I feel are quite important to kind of take away and why you would do a boot camp because of the benefits it provides. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a short one. And if you have anything else that you think 
is a benefit of doing a boot camp, then leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear it and maybe I can make another video on this because I'm running out of videos. So I need your help too. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.